Clarence Avon, affectionately known as the godfather of black entertainment, has died at the age of 92. Keiko Suzanne Marquez shows us the incredible legacy he leaves behind and how he revolutionized the music industry. Tell you about Clarence Avon you was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2021, hosted by Lionel Avon. Richie and celebrated yeah. with clips from the Netflix documentary, The Black Godfather. He's a master communicator. He's the perfect marriage between street sense and common sense. He's this mysterious figure that everybody respected. Clarence Avon is being mourned by power players from Hollywood to the White House. Clarence is one of my favorite guests. If you are important to the overall greater good, he's going to step in like, like super black man. The combination, Reverend Sharpton, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X of the record business. Like Bill Withers. I have a lot of respect for Clarence. The person that's responsible for your transition, that's the key to you changing your life. He provided the big leap for me from being a professional aircraft mechanic over into this world. Clarence managing Jimmy and Terry helped make the Janet album. He said, now, I got a problem with what you're asking for. We're like, oh, no, Mr. Avon, we've asked for too much. No, we can do it for less. He said, no, you didn't ask for enough. You can't do a record on that. That told you everything you needed to know about him right in that first meeting. After the Control album, the phone was ringing more. People were always at the house. It didn't matter who it was. I mean, one day I'd walk in, it's Whitney Houston. So everybody was coming. Questions, questions. Can you help me with this deal? Can you... It just happened. There's two parts to this industry, the music business and the business of music. One, you sweat your ass off. Two, you bank the money. He taught us how to bank the money. Jay-Z's Rock Nation account posted this tribute, calling Clarence Avant a giant who provided opportunities for generations. I helped a lot of people, but my job, so far as I'm concerned, is to move us forward. Clarence and others, they are really the bridge from a time where there was almost no opportunity to a time where doors began to open. He was an advocate for all of the creative people, you know, the writers, the producers, the rangers. There will never be another Clarence Avon. However, his goal is to plant seeds so that there can be individuals just like him. He's like, baby, you got to get your generation to be active. I'm tired. <laughs> Suzanne Marquez, KCAL News.